All right, what up guys? Welcome back. Uh, beautiful day today, gorgeous day. Went outside, it was warm, birds are chirping, there's a nice little breeze, it's like 72 degrees. Open my phone, there's a Curran Caples video part, which is a relief because it's felt a bit boring lately, you know, um, in terms of uh, skateboarding drama or actual skateboarding video parts, especially coming off the end of last year, which felt like you couldn't even breathe, there was so much shit going on, and then it's we've kind of like recently has been the complete opposite of that where um kind of been waiting for something desperately to happen like yesterday there was like some shit about this guy who went on the nine club i don't know this dude was like fucking really aggro but also couldn't substantiate any of the stuff that he was saying and everyone in the comments of the nine club was like oh this guy's so hardcore it's like dude it's only cool being hardcore if you can actually explain the shit that you're talking about <laughs> Um, to prep for this, I've done a little bit of background on our boy, Curran Caples. Curran's like a child star type of skateboarder. Um, I don't think he was ever quite as popular as Sheckler was, but I do remember going to school, there were pretty much two names uh, that would get dropped in the girls' bathroom, you know what I'm saying? From what I can tell, he's been pretty low-key. Um, I didn't really remember any of the video parts that he had put out, so I had to look them up. Um, there's a push part and then a part in propeller. And, you know, we could go through uh, go through them quickly, but neither of them... Oh, also an in-transition Curran Caples uh, part. Big Barracks collaborator, big Barracks guy. Curran is, like, afforded a certain privilege as a transition skater, which is he gets to skate a lot of these, like, kind of chill street spots, you know, like this, but it's like he's, only, he's allowed to do that be, because he's good at skating ramps, so when he goes and skates street, like, there's, like, a ramp... Um, so he's like, yeah, I could just front side flip off this and and that's a clip. I'm not gonna hold this like this uh this push part too much against Curran really, because it's like it's a fucking barracks part. Um and it's filmed on like a it's filmed on like this weird ass like 4K looking camera. I don't know what this thing is. Is this like a red or something? I should really know this shit, but I don't. Damn, 412,000 views. Jesus Christ. But yeah, this was kind of a weird era for skateboarding where there was like a lot of color grading happening that like looked like, you know, basic bitch wedding photos. Yeah, push part. This part felt like pushing out a baby, am I right? You see what I'm saying? Like about being a transition skater, you just get to like send fat ass airs at the park in between like pretty mellow uh, street tricks. Oh, yeah, check that out. This is some barracks core shit right here. Back Smith with the lens flare. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Curran's one of the only dudes I would say that it's still probably acceptable to wear this uh, long sleeve with the hoodie um, combination. This is pretty much like the skateboarding equivalent to that classic meme that's like, why can't boys dress like this? Oh, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> This is li literally the current Caples fit. Um, just not with the Trulies, but maybe uh, maybe Curran should take note. Dear boys, dress like this. Yeah, Curran's still probably on that shit. Doing all this uh, Curran Caples Googling, because I was trying to uh, research some shit about it. Google was suspecting me of not being a human being. They're like, your, your search traffic is a little bit unusual. I don't know how long this was going for, but Curran used to be a, a, a Mountain Dew ripper. <laughs> that is a good shot between the chain link. The only dude I still know that skates her Mountain Dew is uh, is Chris Colburn. Yeah, so Curran's kind of like a, a difficult skateboarder to gauge when you're looking at his street clips because of like the, the transition flavor that's involved and the fact that like there's people that have kind of like a effortless shti, you know, but Curran kind of like has one of the, the least concerned styles that I've ever seen. Like I think in his propeller part, we'll, we'll get to it, but he like smith's like a fucking 15 stair and he, like his roll away looks like he just dropped in on a fucking four foot quarter pipe what i would give to have a clip of myself getting towed in by ben nordberg on a moped call me a crazy but the uh, like almost like 85 percent california clips with like three eu clips comes off feeling like a little discombobulated to me also, a big nose blunter, too. I don't think Curran has, like, a ton of grind tricks. Um, but, yeah, that's his ender. This rail's fucked, but... 
for some reason they decided to film his ender like it was like a lifestyle shot i don't know why is he a tiny little speck in the middle of the screen for the gnarliest trick in the whole part anyway we'll check his uh propeller part too okay when did propeller come out i think propeller was like 2015 right oh you can watch a propeller on tubi yeah so this one actually came out before the last one but i think the propeller part is uh better than the um uh than the barracks one he makes it look easy but he almost makes it look like too easy to the point where you kind of get the impression that when you watch this guy skate that he's like maybe hiding his power level a little bit like he almost never looks like anything that he's doing is actually like very difficult for him so my my hope and my expectation is i've had a couple people message me and they're like, dude, the new current part is fucking sick. I haven't gone back that far. I'm only looking at two other video parts. The only other major video is the Flip 3 video, which has Louis in the beginning, Kern in the middle, and Alec Majerus at the end. Um, and I think this is better than either of the other two videos that I watched before this actual last uh, most recent current part. Um, and this one's good. He actually like sends some sizable handrails, um, but I still think it has the same problems that the other two older video parts have, which is that, you know, Curran's like really cavalier style combined with, you know, transition skating and his like, his skate, his street skating is, is decent. Um, he's like, he can do some big rails. He does a kickflip crook in this part, which is pretty surprising to me. But I never really felt like Curran fully capitalized on his potential, personally. Like, he ever really figured out how to properly mix his transition skill with his street skating um, when he was younger. And he kind of ends up looking like a skate park kid that goes and films a street video part. Um, that's the impression that I get, you know, which is understandable because all of these parts also are pretty old. Like the push part was the most recent, but like this flip three video is eight years old. So I think he's like maybe like 20 or 19 in this. He's 27 now. Um, so who knows how long they were sitting on some of this. Current is also like always looks like a fucking teenager. So it's really difficult to know. I haven't seen any like street skating from Curran from like, you know, 23 years old to like 26, 27, that range, which is when you would expect a skateboarder to like blossom and for their brain chemistry to change and for their outlook, you know, on skateboarding to change. Like that's when you should be entering both your physical and your creative prime as a skater and that there's just been a hole there for Curran. The contrast in this clip is amazing. He's in this like Ruka outfit where you could tell that his parents have like a combined net worth of like 500 million thousand seven hundred and seventy six hundred seven hundred and eighty four thousand million dollars but then he's also skating this really cutty like Wally spot and let me tell you if this this clip came out like today in for example, like that Vans video um, by Fletch that just dropped and this was like Diego Todd doing it or something like it would it would be like a really fucking big deal. But you could tell Curran's like very, very talented because he made this shit look way, way too easy. People spend thousands of dollars to get hair like this, to have the beautiful dirty blonde with like the bleach tips at the end. I want to see Curran sweat. A lot of the clips in this part, they look like the clip before the clip. Like, you know when you see someone's raw files um, and you see them do like their warm-up trick on the spot and then the actual trick? Look at this backsmith. Like, that was way too fucking easy, wasn't it? And it's not fully Curran's fault because this is a hard trick, but his style is like naturally, I think, that clean. Look, dude, look at this shit. He's like a white Antoine Dixon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Jesus Christ! Yeah, so he smiths a twenty-four. Look at that roll away. <laughs> okay, now that we've got all of that, uh, all that background out of the way, let's click on the uh, the Vans part. Here we go. Picking up right where we left off with a nice uh, steezy air at the skate park. I'm going to turn on the audio for myself, but you guys aren't going to be able to hear it because I've never watched this part before. Yeah. 
Okay, smooth. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of similar to that clip in his, um, in that push part where he does the front side flip, but this is like a, I don't think this is a very difficult clip at all for Curran, but he does it really well. I mean, it's super nice. Okay. He kind of launched that kickflip out of the back blunt pretty well. Yeah, that was huge. Almost never flips his board. Um, and he's flipped his board twice now already. So maybe Kern has uh, turned over a new leaf. Nice. All right, this is looking good right now. This is actually a very, very nice two piece. He's getting a little more aggro with it, which is something that I like to see because usually Curran's always looking chill. Like he's, he remains unbothered as my sisters in the, the makeup community would say. He gave that, that pop out of the nose blunt a little bit of oomph. And then a very like, Again, not the hardest trick, but this is unusual for Kern. It's good to see him experimenting, trying something a little different. Okay, hash. All right, what's he got for this? I'm I'm gonna try to guess. I can kind I can see a little bit right now, but this curved ledge, it's gotta be something backsmith related. Maybe like backsmith backtail. Oh no, I was wrong. Oh my god, crazy lock-in on the hurricane. He didn't shift a centimeter as soon as he got into this. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's an unusual kind of ledge trick, but he's translating his transition skills in a more interesting way now, or in a smarter way than he has in the past, um, which is, I guess, what you'd expect. Like, Curran's 27. He actually has an adult brain now. What was that? Okay, so we have a double grind situation here. Wow, this is this is a pretty sick one. Nice. Okay, that was an all right one. He like kind of stuttered a little bit on the roll away there. Like I think if you're just gonna front three a fire hydrant, it's best if you do it like really, really clean. But he did it at night, um, which gives you uh, which gives you some leeway, I suppose. Okay, gap to 50 on this horrendous square rail. And then, yeah, 50's out. I don't think I've seen Curran with a mustache before. Seems like he didn't really commit to this look long term. Oh, nice. Yeah, pretty fucking sick. Wow. I've never seen this spot before. There's like a little bank and then 50 is the outside of this escalator. Very, very, very nice clip. Cool spot, perfect execution. Okay, what, or where are we now? Yeah, pretty smooth backsmith and the iron, and the iron cross uh, long sleeve. It's just straight up eight minutes? Oh my God, I expected like half of it to be like a fucking interview or something, okay. Whoa, okay, that was an interesting one. Let's see uh, what he pieces together here with a kickflip front lip. Ah! Okay, yeah, I mean, that was a very current capel -Z sort of experience. I thought he was gonna go into, wow, look at the fucking pop that he get. You could, dude, he is a ramp genius. Um, look how high he f launches this. Yeah, I thought, I thought he was gonna, Lynn and nose blunt, but going into front lip was kind of cool, I guess. It was it was unexpected, but I mean he just hits this so clean. Like that was perfect. Trey was beautiful. And perfect nose blunt. He's really good at nose blunts. He does those a lot. I haven't seen anyone whip out the uh, the checkered vans really since Brent Ashley in that element video five hundred years ago. Okay, this is pretty knock. He needs to he needs to start lying a little bit. He needs to start faking it, you know. Do some burl action, some Beatrice action, um, any like fa fake steez skater. Where as you roll away, you throw your arms up in the air, like whatever you did just was like unbelievably fucking challenging for you. Too too easy. I mean, this is gnarly as fuck. 
Damn. Oh, we're just getting raw current street footage. This is sick. There's no like fucking, you know, tweaked melon grabs at the park in between spots here. Uh, we did get that one in the very beginning, but that didn't count. Okay, yeah, he sat on this thing like uh, your mom sat on. Yeah, no sliding rails like this is, is kind of sick because, and it makes sense for Curran because he's such a good nose blunter, but yeah, you have to like get really locked into it on the top. Okay, here we go. Is he gonna hit the dumpster? Whoa. That was bordering on like a fuck you line, I think. He is so fucking smooth. Uh, every single trick in this line that I'm not mad at it at all. Descends it over the can. Oh, here we go. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Okay, that was fat as fuck. To be fair to the boy. Damn. Yeah, that was huge. And he kind of like, he doesn't exactly get over to the other wall of the pool, but he gets pretty close. Like he definitely leaves off the left-hand side. Yeah, and kind of lands in between the, the, the back here and the side. I guess you prefer to see pool skating in a street park as opposed to park skating because a pool is not designed for the express purpose of skateboarding, whereas a skate park is. And I think it is much more within the spirit of your traditional street park to only skate obstacles that are not designed for skateboarding itself. You understand? Okay. This is that wretched pool where, like, everyone does fucking photo shoots. What the hell? Whoa, no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, and we have, like, a gap 50 here. There's so many rails um, that it's hard to tell what you're looking at at first. Okay, so gap 50. Yep. Damn, I'm very, very impressed by Curran's lines. Watching so much skateboarding, because he skates fast, and everything that he does in the line is very clean. Weird thing about, you know, spending a ton of time watching skateboarding, you start to realize that there's not that many people that are good at doing lines. Curran's lines are, are proper, and they feel like just as substantial as the single clips. Okay, that was alright. This is like one of those spots that you probably drive past all the time and you're like, someone will probably do that eventually. And then Curran was the guy to actually do it. So, flies out of this uh, street bank. Yeah, that shot's better. Looked like he was pretty relieved to have not died on that, so maybe that was really hard for him. Oh! Damn, that was a man trick right there. Front heel? Very, very nice. Very impressive. He really makes a lot of this shit look easy as fuck. This uh, front side heel flip had me surprised, flabbergasted for a multitude of reasons, primarily because Curran is more of a dainty style, smooth, light on his feet skateboarder, and the front side heel flip, in my opinion, is one of the most macho tricks that you can do. Not only that, but Curran pulled off this, pulled off this robust maneuver in some of the lightest footwear that money can buy, the van slip-on. Okay, the mustache is back. What does he have? Oh, a street grab. I haven't seen anyone skate this spot for a while. Yeah, okay, nice full extension here on this, like, little tuck knee shifty thing. This is exactly what we'd expect from a uh, transition ripper like Curran. Ooh, slow-mo now? Oh, he hit the fucking pole! Oh, beautiful! Oh, I'm so impressed with Curran. I feel like he's blossoming right now before our eyes. So earlier on in the video, I was talking about how I didn't really feel as though in the first couple parts that Curran put out that he really understood or could figure out how to bring his transition skill into a street part and like have that really make much sense you know like 
park clip and then 50-50 a handrail. The two things felt like really separate. A trick like this is, is really cool to see because it, it feels like Kern is finally like, you know, putting the pieces together and becoming like a really well-rounded um, and intelligent professional skateboarder. This has to easily be the best thing Kern's ever put out. Uh-oh. Okay, that was pretty gnar. Nolly nose blunt. Yeah. Damn. Okay, this one was pretty zoomed. Um, but the trick is gnarly. So gap over the hubba and then lands in it. Pretty sick. Damn, he held it. Nice. Another nose blunt, but hey. It was a good one. Yeah, I like what he did here. Backtail fakey, half cab in. And a little tweaked melon over this fat ass curb gap. Damn, did he just smack that guy in the face? <laughs> that was disrespectful. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. This is like a perfect Kern Capel spot. Ah, uh, dude, you can't if you don't learn how to air like this when you're fucking five years old, you're never learning it. Like you this has to be something that your body has been trained to do since you were tiny. Okay, nice. Another uh, gap fifty or fifty to Ollie over set. That was a long fifty two. Good. This was filmed super well. Dang, that was hash. Kern wearing purple today. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, gap tray bomb. <laughs> Unfortunately, he rode into the wall after, but I mean, that was fucked. All right, Louis, go away. You have enough footage. Okay, so we're just going to speed run the end of this because when I did my live recording, my brain turned off and I just started making ape noises and going, damn. Anyway, 50-50 uh, grind gap and then like a drop down and does this pretty much full 50 U-turn, which was very cool. Um, and then a long ass Smith grind on this rail that I think is in New York City, it looks like. And then uh, this is kind of a fun one. It's like an almost round three day one type of clip. This is almost like more of a photo these days than a, than more of a clip. But anyway, um, then we have this. I've never seen anyone hit the wall like this the way that Curran does. Um, he's one of those people that's good enough at wall rights to actually do it front side. So he lands a little bit in the flat on the top, but what are you going to do? Um, and then he, vert style heel flip tail at Garvanza Park, which is like, I'm not, I don't have a massive boner over the fact that he did his ender in a skate park, but what are you going to do? The, it, the part itself, like the sheer volume of clips and the degree of difficulty was enough to the point where I don't think like you need some like ungodly banger, um, to put a bow on things. And I don't think Curran's really that type of skater anyway. So all in all, um, I know this isn't a first reaction. This is now like a, a post reaction, but um, I think that this, like again, like I said in the in the first watch, this is by far the best thing that Curran's ever put out. Uh, it still feels a lot like a Curran Capel's part. Like he does a lot of the same tricks as he used to, but just like he seems like an adult now. He is a much more well-rounded and like believable professional skateboarder now too. Um, so this is cool. Like I felt like Curran was sort of fading into blue checkmark obscurity for a while there, but putting something like this out uh, is a good way of counteracting that perception. So um, we'll see what he has up his sleeve in the future. Um, this was a really, really, really good part. And if I were to assign a numeral, I'd give it like a eight point. Eight, I think I'd give it like an eight and a half out of ten. I think if Curran drops another five minute, eight minute banger like this one, uh, he might be able to escape the clutches of skate mental.